I was on the train one day to work and I saw this video by Alan Watts and it said, what if money were no object? And I was like, oh, I, I, don't, I definitely would not be here if money were no object. Things like most kids, I was uh, drawing a lot of the cartoon characters I was seeing on TV, like Ninja Turtles and uh, Power Rangers and just not really making the connection that I'm making art, but just because I had wanted to do stuff with these you know, uh, cartoons that I really liked and, and watched all the time. I saw um, an article in the Israeli newspaper about Ringling. Uh, a bunch of Israeli alums that went there um, had really cool shorts coming out and um, from the animation department. Um, and they were working at um, DreamWorks and Disney and they looked like they were really happy doing what they're doing and doing a great job and great work. And long story short, there were two weeks for me to apply to Ringling or wait another year. It was around December, I think. Um, so I didn't have a portfolio because I haven't been doing art since I was in high school. And I just kind of looked on the website what they were looking for. And for two weeks, I stayed up every night and every day and just cranked out like a portfolio of uh, life drawings and, and hands and feet and perspective drawings and whatever I could to show them that I kind of have the basis for maybe something that could um, work out in animation and maybe illustration. Uh, and I applied for the animation uh, program and I think three months after I got the, the acceptance and now I would be leaving for the States for at least four years, maybe more. So that's how I got into art <laughs> at Ringling. My short uh, game changer uh, is, is the film that I made my senior year at Ringling at the animation department. It was about a toy G.I. Joe kind of thing, like a toy soldier at a toy store trying to cross over to the girls' toys aisle uh, and play with like the Easy Bake Oven. And, but there was a constant patrol of like the, the commander that was stopping him because he's a boy's toy. And I think I was inspired by kind of going to toy stores. I really like toys. Um, and I always see that pink aisle and that blue aisle and it drives me nuts because like I know as a boy I would not want to go to the pink aisle even if there was a toy that I really liked there. And if I was, uh, I see a lot of little girls like my niece and um, just, you know, walking as an adult in toy stores, I don't see a lot of girls going up to the toy trucks and like the, the action figures. Maybe they're not expected to or they're afraid they'll get a funny look from their mom or their dad because they should be playing with Barbies and I hate that. So I was wondering if there's something I could do, uh, like a story that might be more palatable for people that are not open to that kind of criticism or opinion and maybe just kind of like make people think about it in a different way. Um, I also always wanted to animate toys and I didn't know if I would ever get to, so I was like, this is a perfect opportunity. You send it off and you're like, it's the Academy, so whatever, <laughs> I'll send it. Um, and then they sent me an email that I was um, in the semifinals at first with a few other dozen films. And I was like, wow, this is already incredible. Um, and then they sent out an email that I was in the finals with seven other films. Uh, and there would be a month before they found out, or they announced who the winners are. And there were four winners. Um, and then a month after, uh, I got a call saying like, what are you doing October 17th? And I was like, I don't know, why? And it was like, there's a Student Academy uh, Award ceremony and you're receiving a medal, so you should be there. And I was like, done. <laughs> um, so. It's the whole week leading up to it is really cool because they kind of show you around the Academy Museum and like a bunch of Academy buildings. They introduce you to a lot of industry, kind of like vets. Um, and they have a lot of panels and, and it's just a really great kind of week to uh, bond with the other filmmakers uh, that are winning that year and kind of share ideas and, and just kind of, you know, celebrate, I guess. Um, yeah, and, and it's really cool because they have uh, domestic for domestic uh, anima animation. They have like bronze, silver, and, and gold, and f they have an international category as well, which just has one film every year, so it's four winners total. Um, yeah, the the ceremony was like surreal because there's like celebrities giving these awards away, and everybody's in tuxes, so uh, it was kind of fun. And I I think what was really the most um, kind of uh, I got the most out of it was. Just the fact that other people were talking about the film, not about the film itself, but what I was trying to say. And I was like, good, I'm finally getting to people. And that's kind of the biggest takeaway from that award is like, it's getting uh, more exposure. So people, more people get to see it and more people get to 
think about that. So, yes. yeah.